David Sirota suggests 10 things that America can do to reform policing. This is a great list. Check this out, leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Mark Asper, the Secretary of Defense had said on a uh, phone call with governors on Monday that uh, parts of which got leaked to the press that uh, we need to dominate the battle space. Uh, this morning he went on, he was just trashed for that roundly by a lot of former generals. Um, among other things, also for his participation with Donald Trump in the uh, photo op, Trump is now squealing on, on Twitter that they're saying we tear gas people. There was no tear gas. Um, well, yeah, there is something called tear gas and then there's CS gas and CN gas, which are nerve gases. I've, I've been gassed with tear gas and CS gas. And then there's C, CU gas, I think it is, and which is what was used in the park, uh, which is another kind of gas that causes your eyes to tear up and causes all kinds of pain. It, it comes out green, that particular gas. Um, and you could argue that technically that's not tear gas, but the fact of the matter is that the Centers for Disease Control actually defines tear gas as any gas that causes tears, that causes your mucous membranes to burn and causes your eyes to water. So, you know, uh, Trump's uh, CDC contradicts him. Um, but uh, there was some question as to whether it was the National Guard who did this, and, uh, you know, which is arguably in Esper's chain of command. And Esper came on TV this morning and said, no, it wasn't the National Guard. He didn't come right out and say it was the Park Police, but apparently that's who it was. Uh, and Bill Barr, apparently our Attorney General, uh, uh, ordered it. And, uh, you know, but, but uh, undersecretary, former undersecretary of defense for policy, James Miller, uh, resigned Tuesday. In his resignation, he wrote to Mark Esper, he said, you may not have been able to stop President Trump from directing this appalling use of force, but you could have chosen to oppose it. Instead, you visibly supported it. And uh, so Esper tried to clean this up this morning. He said, uh, in his press conference uh, this morning, he said, I did not know we were going to the church. I was not aware that a photo op was happening. I was not aware of law enforcement's plans for the park. Uh, and uh, in, when he was asked by a reporter if he would criticize that use of force, he said, no, he wouldn't criticize that use of force. He said they took whatever actions they felt were necessary. Um, the National Guard, he said, was there to support the law enforcement. Um, you know, he's walking a fine line between saying, between basically throwing Trump out of the bus, because this thing has gone down really, really bad. I mean, everybody in the country gets how ugly this is on the one hand, and on the other hand, keeping his job. I mean, you know, he's trying to do an Anthony Fauci or a Deborah Burks. He's trying to, trying to say, uh, but I, I, not me, I, but at the same time, he's trying to say, but, you know, Donald Trump is a nice guy and he's a wonderful man and, I, you know, we all love him and respect him and, you know, we're going to salute that flag. Uh, I'm not buying it and, frankly, I don't think you should either. Um, to, to wrap up uh, the uh, other, you know, we've been talking about, by the way, Elizabeth Warren was in the crowd at the White House. <laughs> this is so cool. Uh, she, there, there, there's photos of it all over the Internet. Um, this was uh, from either Monday or Tuesday. And uh, Elizabeth Warren, her husband and her dog and their dog uh, were uh, David Korn, in fact, tw uh, tweeted it. And, and, and Elizabeth Warren didn't need anybody to shoot off tear gas to clear the way for her. People were very respectful. They were very nice. Um, just just uh, extraordinary stuff. But anyhow, the, David Sirota's list of things that we can do to perform our police uh, number one, uh, reauthorize the Patriot Act in a way that, well, actually don't reauthorize the Patriot Act, excuse me, uh, he, he, he knows Republicans are trying to reauthorize it in a way that would strengthen Trump's warrantless surveillance power. Uh, the Congressional Progressive Caucus, as you just heard from Congressman Pocan, has temporarily blocked that, although Nancy Pelosi actually is actively trying to revive the legislation. Uh, number two, don't pass a Pentagon spending bill that would f uh, fund Trump's military invasion of, of American cities. In fact, perhaps even specifically prohibit that. Call Trump's bluff. He said he was going to defund police departments that didn't crack down on protesters, that didn't start, you know, presumably shooting and beating people and calling out dogs on them. Cool. Defund them. Do it. 
Hold televised hearings spotlighting police abuses. Issue subpoenas to fully investigate the situation in various cities. Number four, stop giving military-grade weapons to local police departments. We talked about this before the break. Uh, number, uh, number five, fire the bad police chiefs and de-escalate. I would add to that, we need to change the, the, the structure, nature, and power of police unions. Uh, number six, prosecute the bad cops. 22 state attorneys general are Democrats. You guys have power. Do something with it. Uh, number seven, restrict the National Guard. Number eight, pass um, uh, legislation restricting uh, police and ending immunity. And I would add to that, require police officers to have their own liability insurance. People in the media have liability insurance. It's called errors and emissions insurance. Most businesses have liability insurance. It's typically also called uh, E&O insurance, errors and emissions insurance. Um, doctors have me and nurses and physicians assistants right across the board, people in medicine, they have you know, malpractice insurance. Why no cops? Why aren't police officers required to carry this kind of insurance? They don't have to pay for it themselves. Their, their agency can pay for it, just like you know, if you're a doctor in a hospital, typically the hospital pays for your malpractice insurance. But, but if you're uninsurable, you can't work. And, and now you've got a separate private, you know, this at libertarians, Republicans should love this. This is using the, the uh, free market, right, to, uh, to do something about this. Number nine, uh, 15 states now, just in the last five years, have passed laws, anti-protester laws. Nearly a third of all states have implemented new regulations to regulate protest activity. A lot of this out of the uh, Dakota Access Pipeline stuff. Repeal these laws. Protesting is in the First Amendment. It is a constitutionally protected right. And number 10, politicians need to stop taking money from police associations. Uh, the uh, New York, in the state of New York, the Senate Deputy Majority Leader Mike Guianaris uh, says he's no longer going to take money from police agencies, uh, police unions, police uh, groups. Great idea.